jeans take over. How did all of America end up wearing the same type of pants? It was 1870 in western Nevada. Thousands of men swarmed over dusty hills, all looking for the same thing, gold and silver. Finding just one shiny piece could make you rich, but searching for gold and silver was backbreaking work. All day long, the workers trudged through narrow tunnels and hunched over their shovels. As they dug and scraped and sifted dirt, many faced an annoying problem. They kept ripping their pants. A tailor from Eastern Europe named Jacob Davis would help fix that. One day, a worker's wife came up to Davis and begged him to make her husband a stronger pair of pants. Looking at the round metal pins he used on horse blankets, Davis was struck with an idea. He clamped the pins, called rivets, onto the pockets and fly of the pants where they most often tore. And it worked! The strong metal rivets held the fabric together. The new pants were almost unrippable. Soon, all the workers in the area wanted a pair. More than 150 years later, Davis's riveted pants are still popular. In fact, you probably have a pair in your dresser drawer right now. You know them as jeans. Tough pants. Jeans had existed long before Davis came along. As early as 500 years ago, one of these fabrics became known as denim. When Europeans began moving to America in the 1500s, they brought denim with them. The heavy cloth was perfect for work pants. It was sturdy enough to hold up during difficult jobs, but comfortable enough to wear all day. To help hide dirt, the pants were often dyed blue. But it wasn't until the 1870s when Davis invented his indestructible jeans that the pants started to become America's work uniform. Almost right away, the new jeans flew off the shelves. Davis asked his fabric supplier, Levi Strauss, to go into business with him. Over the next 60 years, the riveted jeans came to be worn by almost all American workers, farmers, woodcutters, railroad builders, factory workers. Farms to fashions. So how did denim pants make their way into your life? It started in the 1930s. By then, Americans had fallen in love with Western movies, which featured heroic cowboys giddy-upping across the Wild West. Tucked into the cowboys' leather boots were jeans, of course. Little kids began begging their parents for jeans to play cowboys. Wealthy people wore them to look like their favorite movie stars. Denim companies realized, wow, there are a lot of people who want to wear jeans just for fun. So that became the history of jeans. By the 1950s, blue jeans had entered the world of fashion. Rockstar Elvis Presley twisted and shimmied on stage in his jeans, and superstar actors like James Dean wore them to play tough-talking teens in movies. Many schools banned the pants, which were seen as the outfit of troublemakers. But that only made them seem cooler to young Americans. Over the next couple of decades, jeans became more and more popular. Dozens of new denim companies sprang up to feed what was becoming a blue jean obsession just for you. Today, 96% of Americans own jeans. Maybe even have a pair from Levi Strauss and Company, which is still the world's biggest jeans company today. Jacob Davis would be amazed to see how the pants have changed over the years. There were the fancy designer jeans of the 1970s and the baggy jeans worn by hip-hop stars in the 1990s. And there were the skinny jeans of the 2010s. Every generation finds a new way to wear jeans so that they feel like their own, Sullivan explains. And that might be the secret to their long-lasting power. Jeans have been around for more than 150 years. They're worn by almost every person in the country. But your favorite pair somehow feels like it was made just for you.